A leaked video has been repeated in which Zimbabwe's ZANU-PF leader Emerson Umningagwa is seen giving explicit instructions to government officials to sabotage service delivery in local councils led by the opposition, specifically mentioning the MDC. This revelation comes on the heels of President Umningagwa's latest announcement that his government will block budgets prepared by these opposition-run councils, citing concerns over service delivery. In the incendiary video, President Umingagwa is allegedly heard saying, All service delivery issues needing attention of the MDC, it doesn't matter which MDC, must be stopped, and they must crash at Harvest House building. These startling remarks have ignited a firestorm of controversy, with many questioning the government's commitment to improving the lives of Zimbabwe's urban population. President Umingagwa had, just recently, decried the state of service delivery in opposition-run councils, highlighting the dire condition of infrastructure and the outbreak of medieval diseases like cholera and typhoid, particularly in the capital city, Harare. During a high-level interaction with local authorities in Harare, he emphasized the need to prioritize service delivery and improve the quality of life for urban residents. He officially launched a blueprint titled, A Call to Action, no compromise to service delivery, first stage of interventions to modernize the operations of local authorities towards a 2030 vision, signaling his intent to address the service delivery crisis. President Umingagwa called for a collaborative effort to transform the unacceptable state of affairs in urban areas, expressing that service delivery must be prioritized and ratepayers have a right to demand that heads roll for those who do not deliver. The conference, attended by mayors, chairpersons, councillors, town clerks, town secretaries, and chief executive officers from local authorities across the country, operated under the theme, a call to action, no compromise to service delivery. In his address, President Umingagwa challenged councils to rise to the occasion and uphold the oath of office they took upon their election, emphasizing that failure is not an option. However, the leaked video has raised serious concerns about the government's intentions and actions regarding service delivery in opposition-led councils. Many opposition figures and citizens have accused President Umingagwa of playing a direct role in undermining their efforts to govern and provide essential services to the people. As the controversy continues to unfold, it remains to be seen how the government and the opposition will respond to the allegations of sabotage and whether this revelation will have a significant impact on the political landscape in Zimbabwe. State Media Slash Additional Reporting